Hello everybody, um, this is a little hornbeam uh, tanuki, uh, which I understand is Japanese for little thief or deceiver, um, so called in this case because we have a piece of dead wood, dead trunk, um, and a living tree has been grafted. <laughs> grafted isn't probably the right word, but connected then to it, in this case with a couple of brass screws. Uh, with the idea being that you will have the look of a, an old hollowed out tree trunk which has just managed to stay alive. Uh, I still like it. It's uh, one of my first efforts at carving a piece of wood, albeit a dead piece rather than a living tree. Um, unfortunately, the tree has been, the wood has been decaying uh, faster than the tree has been growing into it. So I'm going to have to retreat this this summer with some lime sulfur and some wood hardener to try and arrest that rot. Um, but other than that, I'm quite pleased with the effect. Um, I'm going to trim back some of these long shoots now. And hopefully you'll begin to see how the tree looks in all its glory. So I'm going to start by removing shoots that are growing out of the front of the tree, of which there are quite a few. And there's a little side branch going back in. Okay, I'm going to leave that little branch there. Trim this one back. Effectively regrowing the top of this tree. I'm trying to grow a top to this tree, an apex to this tree. So let's just keep going, trying to reveal the trunk line. In this case, I'm just removing a few leaves rather than actual branches. this branch that's going back in towards the centre of the trunk back to a leaf will hopefully spurt some regrowth in the direction I want it to grow okay so this particular branch is growing in the wrong direction so I'm going to take it right back in hard to there. Hopefully that will regrow the shoot in the right direction. So that gives you an idea of the trunk line now. Um, just try and tidy up some of these shoots. Some of these have grown quite well and uh, extended out to four or five shoots and I'm happy to remove those. That is just this one. We're in a a weaker state at the moment. I'm going to leave them as they are and then come back and prune those once they get a bit longer and a bit more vigorous, a bit thicker. 
I think it's important to remember you don't have to prune the whole tree all at once every time. It's okay to leave them to grow if they're not ready to be pruned yet. Uh, that also increases the vigour of the tree and the health of the tree and means that it's more likely to survive any rigours that um, life can throw at it. Yeah, yeah. Forget to water it to um, leave it out in the frosts or whatever it might be. You will need a tree that's strong to survive the vagaries of life. So don't be afraid to leave the shoots to get a little bit long from time to time. If you don't think they're ready to come off, don't take them off. You can't glue them back on, that's what I always think. You can always come back and cut them off again later. But you can't glue them back on. a nice spring job. Uh, probably need doing again in the summertime, sort of the end of June, if the tree grows vigorously. And uh, and then I probably won't do any more with it until winter when it can be trimmed back again and you can actually see and create a better structure when you can see where all the individual branches are. So this tree is still looking quite shaggy. But that's actually all I'm going to do to it for this session. As I say, some of these shoots are really too weak and puny to back bud successfully if I cut them off now. So I'm going to leave them for the most part alone. Unless they're obviously in the wrong direction or the wrong place. Okay, so that's about it. Quick 160 degrees. And um, thank you for watching.